I've been playing around with GPT embedded in Google Sheets as a way of you know, thinking about a query hub or a knowledge hub of some sort where I would have um, a number of different qu of queries that I might use uh, a fair bit or, or quite regularly um, that, that there would be one place where I could uh, store not only the queries but also the outputs as well. So I have a number of sheets where I would have different questions. In this case, I have, as an example, lesson plans, article summaries, article critiques, um, translations. You can have a sheet for just about any query you'd want um, and then uh, store all of the queries and, and outputs. Uh, in this case, um, under lesson plans, I have a prompt around um, GPT acting as an educator. So it's, I have written, you will act like an educator. I will give you topics and you will write comprehensive lesson plans. And the, the next um, cell here uh, would be a value. So this would be like a lesson plan about what um, and or for who. Uh, I'll just paste what I have here, an introduction to quantum mechanics for first year undergraduate students. And then the output. Um, and you have to have a certain plugin and you have to have the, uh, the API key for this. It doesn't, it's not really hard and I can certainly create a, um, or, or point to a tutorial for this, but essentially once you've done that, you're able to type in equals GPT and then the qualifiers come up. Um, so for the prompt, I will just click on this cell. So that's a three and I'll put comma. And the value would be um, the next cell and comma. And then this temperature means, uh, I think you have an input of either zero or one. Uh, if you put in zero, um, it'll be a less creative search and it'll be stuck. It'll stick more to the actual query you've given. If you, uh, if you give it a one, uh, it'll be less, um, or it'll be more creative and, and stick less to the script or the query that you've added. So you could play around with that. I'll put zero for now. Uh, the model, you know, there's several language models. Uh, the most um, oft used one would be uh, text dash Da Vinci dash zero zero three. And then I'll put comma and then this max tokens uh, has to do with the output and uh, uh, eventually how much you'd actually uh, pay if you're doing this um, uh, with a paid account. So I'm going to hit enter and see what sort of output it shows it shows up. And when I say paid, paid account, this would be a paid account when you get an open AI account. Uh, you get $18 of credits that you can play around with. And so I'm, I haven't paid anything yet for this, um, but uh, I think eventually I think that's the model. So I've got here a lesson plan um, and I can look through this. I'm not sure how good it is, but uh, of course with tweaking the query, you can get a, a, a better result, but looks like a decent start, I guess. Uh, anyway, I hope that's helpful.